Hey guys, I'm Grimey and welcome back to my XCON Iron Man Impossible video series. We just finished a UFO and captured an outsider. Um, we've gotten an abduction and our goal is going to be to capture a UFO. It actually doesn't matter which abduction we pick because we're going to be launching satellites, probably all three in Asia, and sealing and saving uh, the remaining countries by simply uh, doing an April base rush. We have two options. We can go for Egypt which gives us 200 credits, which is very important to us right now. Or you can go for France for four engineers. Let me do the math. We have six engineers right now. We're getting, we are getting uh, five more from the workshop. So that brings us up to 11. We have, um... Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. We're getting one from, uh, we're getting none from the United States. We launched three here. We'll get four from all of Asia. That'll be, uh, what? 14, 6 plus 5, 11 plus 4, 15, which will be just enough to, for us to build a single workshop. And uh, yeah, I think that's the correct play in this situation to get the 200 credits. We are very low on money right now. We're going to need every penny we can get. Actually, it might not be because we're also getting portent and uh, portent and Slingshot, which give us 350 credits in total. They also give us, uh, what? An Engineer, and then two Engineers, three. That brings us up to uh, 15 plus 3, 18, plus 4, 22. Whew. If we got back-to-back -back Engineers, we could get two satellite uplinks the following month. It would be a very tight budget, but we could do it. It's a huge gamble. But, um, hmm, actually I think I'm going to take it. I don't have too much money to spend on anything else at this exact period in time. Actually, no, this is the correct decision. I can cancel my workshop this month. Yeah, this isn't done. This will bring us to 10 engineers. I'll be able to build, start the satellite uplink right away. We'll be able to get the Asia continent bonus earlier. And I might even finish the workshop. It depends. I'll probably cancel it, I'll rebuild it if I feel like it's useful. And the logic is, if we get back to back engineers, we can get two uplinks the following month. Since we won't have April, uh, we won't have April base defense, the next month we might lose four countries, and if we only have three satellites to save them, that's not ideal. So yeah, we're gonna go for France. Okay, so um, our assault and our mech trooper are in the med bay right now. So we still got our main, our core team, our squad side sniper, and both of our heavies. Um, we're bringing the sniper that has five kills along. If we can get a second squad side sniper in the near future, that certainly doesn't hurt. Um, I don't want to bring a support or a sniper for the same reason why I didn't bring them in March because they're not the best investment in unexperience. This soldier has a very high chance of becoming an assault. That's definitely very useful. We're going to give both our most expendable soldiers arc throwers. If we can get a single capture on this mission, we'll be uh, in very good position. Let's go. I'm sorry I haven't been able to give more map analysis on uh, the UFO missions, i.e. the previous mission. But yeah, the reason that was is because I just don't... You don't get UFOs nearly as often as you get abduction missions. You get two abduction missions every month. Um, you probably restart Impossible a lot, so you probably do a lot of abduction missions and so forth. Anyways, we've got the uh, repair shop map. Um, this map, once again, how we move depends on the melt containers. And obviously, uh, since there's no spawns on the roof, we're going to gra grab the roof right away. Uh, there's one melt container in the parking lot to the right-hand side. There's another park, uh, melt container further behind that, uh, in the parking, uh, parking lot area. There's one in the entrance area to the repair shop, and there's one possible spawn in the back alley. We want to know if the uh, melt container is in the back alley or in the parking lot, so we're going to rush one soldier onto the roof to take a quick look see. We might as well rush our remaining soldiers as well because we're going to be going up there anyways. We see it's in the front. I actually don't like this because we don't have good ways to deal with the aliens that are around. Should I ignore the melt? Because the priority right now, I can sacrifice Mel, but if I fail to get a capture on this mission, uh, we're in terrible, terrible, terrible position. 
Um, if we don't get April base rush, we lose countries. We lose a lot of countries. So yeah, that might that might be the correct play. Normally I would go for the Mel, but since it's so late, I'm gonna play extra cautious. I, I'm almost positive there's a alien, alien pod down here. So yes, we're gonna get all of our guys into position and ready to uh, grenade or rockets or uh, and taser the next turn. Target Again, confirmed. This has a very short timer, undeliberately uh, sacrificing it. That sounds like Thin Men down here. Um, we're gonna move our most useless soldier up, which is, in this case, we don't have that many really useless soldiers, but probably the sniper that doesn't have these arc door. And I was wrong, those were not Thin Men. We're just gonna deal with the secrets first. Overwatch everyone. Miraculously, that seeker survives and injures our only spot tech sniper. Okay, so the second Melcaner is farther in the parking lot. Our rookie needs a single kill to get promoted, so we're gonna do exactly that. Taken care of. If we had our mech or our assaults, these seekers would not be a problem at all with Overwatch, but that's not the case. Once again, we sacrificed that multi container deliberately. I'm moving all my soldiers away from the edge of the map. So we don't actually accidentally trigger any aliens. We're gonna move our least useful soldier up to spot. And she won't do anything. We're gonna move everyone else up to support. Wait, why can't I accidentally watch last guy on the roof? I might have. I don't want to deal with the dead men right away if I can get the sectoids dealt with first. That would be ideal. Because I can just grenade them and get 90% arc throw shot. We have a decision to make here. We can breach through these three doors. The best option might be to breach through the back door because we would reel less. There's usually tons of pods inside the garage. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head towards that direction. Let's do this. Location confirmed. I'm playing safe by going on the roof because I don't know if there's the only pod here. I have no line of sight. Sentite? Alright, so I'm going to drop our sniper down here. Once again, she's our least useful soldier, and once again, we're blocking the door to, uh, in case like there's any aliens, they don't run away, and if there are any aliens later in the turn, they don't run through here and shoot us. Okay, got the two sectors we wanted. Uh, if we grenade them, they'll be in. They'll be taserable. Unfortunately, I think I just barely can't get. Oh, yes. I was hoping I could get both of them, and I can. Alright. We're gonna move one rookie up. Go for an Arthur or a capture. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. And we might as well capture another one just for. Headed there now. 
Do I even want the plasma pistol? I don't actually know. The plasma pistols might be waste of weapon fragments. That's all we're getting. We wouldn't get We wouldn't even get any weapon fragments from this. And we would lose the kill. So the correct decision is to not not arc this uh Septoid and probably just to shoot him to get uh, experience and weapon fragments. Nailed. Like I said, I have no plans to get uh, plasma pistols later in the game. And move our last two heavies up in position to deal with any uh, threats that might be through this door. We'll have two rockets, so if there's anything, we can probably just kill them all. We don't have to worry about threats coming through this door because it's being blocked by our sniper. Alright, we're going to breach. I'm very confident that two heavies can deal with basically anything. This is a bug for some reason. I can't see through here. I'm going to move in the least useful heavy the spot. We see nothing. And we're just going to get everyone in position. I want my heavies to have rockets in line of sight. Uh, I want my sniper to have as many shots as possible so they're over here. And what else? In here, on our way. In here. Out. We're gonna reach into this room basically the next turn. You got tech toys and I believe thin men left. So certainly nothing our rockets can't handle. I'm on it. Affirmative, covering Everyone in the perfect position before we breach. What's making that noise? We might want to not want to. We might not want to open the door. The door here. The thin men set seems to be on the far side, and we wouldn't have a rocket shot. We see nothing. We're not going to do any more revealing moves while our heavies might be out of position. You hear that? We have a perfect arc thrower target for the following turn. Okay. Marcos needs kills the most. I could kill all of them. Right here. Right now. But I want to get a stun if possible. Okay. Let's see what we can do. That's one option. Once again, we want weapon fragments, so we're gonna take whatever kill shots we can get. We get, I think we got the same amount of weapon fragments from uh, Thin Men as from Sectoids. So, I might as well take a shot on the Sectoid instead. And once again, we're gonna keep a... I'm gonna keep a second heavy. So, if the first rocket misses, the second one can hit. In the case that the rocket misses, the rookie's the most expendable, so we're gonna move her up to uh, taser. Light him up. Target incapacitated. This thin man can still uh his uh body can actually be destroyed, in which case um, we would lose our interrogation option. So just be careful when you're aiming the rocket. Don't aim it further to the right hand side than absolutely necessary. Fire! Lanzando. And that went really, really well. Mission objectives completed. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.